What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel today. Uh, we're back and today we're going to be doing a part two to the uh, the setup of what I used for uh, my mowing business over the summer. Uh, we're going to kind of talk about some things that happened, um, some things we're going to change for next year, and all the equipment upgrades since the last video I made. Okay, so the last video I made was at the beginning of this summer. I don't remember exactly what month it is. Um, but I, I just remember uh, going through and uh, kind of showing you off like my big mower back there, um, that mower, some of my weed eaters, and some of the small things I had. At the time, I don't remember. I didn't look back through the video to see. Um, I don't remember if I had my equipment defender racks. Um, so I guess this is where we'll start this. Um, since then, uh, I went to Equipment Defender. They are a company that sells basically racks for your trailer. Um, and I got their uh, set of three weed racks. They're pretty nice. Um, you could, they're lockable. So like if you're going into a parking lot and you wanted to lock your weed eaters up, um, uh, I had to go into the store or, uh, to get something. All I'd have to do is I have a key for it and I can lock uh, my weed eaters on my trailer when I'm not uh, at my truck so I don't have to worry about them getting stolen which is really nice um, another thing with my trailer uh, I put in all new brake lines they don't look very good but uh, my old brake lights on the trailer didn't used to work and so I had to wire a bunch of new ones um, with the mowers uh, I still have my Hustler 48 um, inch Raptor Love this thing. It did me amazing throughout this whole entire season. Uh, I love that thing to death. It went through a lot. Uh, the only problem I had with it was uh, I took it through some really, really thick grass that was wet. And my, I don't know if it was because the the mower belt was old or what, but that ended up snapping. So I had to get another one of those replace it. But after I replaced it, there was no problems. Um, another thing. Uh, that's different from this video is I don't have my uh, Husqvarna push uh, mower anymore. I used to have a uh, little Husqvarna push mower with a bagger. That's how I bagged yards. I sold that like a week ago, um, and so I don't have one of those. The reason I sold it is I wanted to get one that was self-propelled uh, because um, that thing, whenever you have all that grass in there, it gets really heavy, and it's annoying, and it sucks. Um, coming over to the uh all the small equipment okay coming over to some of the smaller things um like my weed eaters uh my uh my chainsaws and then my blowers and sprayer um we still have i still have which i need to sell um because it didn't get any use this season i still have my still fs 40c uh has the curve shaft at the end um this was kind of my very first weed eater um, I used it. It was great, but I've moved on to bigger and better, so I don't need it anymore. Uh, one of my main upgrades that I got this season was this bad boy. I love this thing to death. It is my still uh, combi system. I don't remember exactly what it is. It's a KM91R. Uh, uh, I used this thing to death this summer. Um, it is the combi system. So I have right now I have the, uh, the trimmer on it. Um, but I do have the edger attachment, the pull saw and an extension for any of those, but I only use the extension for the pull saw. That's all I really needed it for. Um, yeah, I, I love this thing. I want to get a second one. I want to sell my two Husqvarna's and my, uh, other still. And I want to get a second, uh, one of these combi systems, uh, Cause I, I, I use that thing to, uh, to death. I absolutely love that thing. It handles everything and it works great. And there's so many more attachments for it that I don't have, but, um, yeah, like I said, I just, I, I love this thing, but, um, another kind of, uh, project that I had got was this guy. It is this, uh, Husqvarna combi system. So it's the same thing as this one. Uh, just this one's a combi system. Same exact weed eater. Uh, they both run uh, really good. Um, this one, uh, the combi system one, I actually got. Um, the fuel lines in it were all broken and so they all needed to be replaced. <coughs> so I, I went and I replaced those and it starts up and fires and I just need to sell both of these off so I can use that money to get a, um, a 
new combi system. Loud truck. Get a new combi system. But yeah, I still have these two guys. Uh, they still work great. Uh, I kind of use them as my backups in case my still uh, goes down or something happens with it. doesn't want to start. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it for my weed eaters and everything I used uh, for that season on weed eaters. Coming over to my chainsaws, I... Um, <coughs> I um this season I uh, I only really used uh, my mm, uh, my still at the beginning of the season I didn't have this guy but I did go ahead and I purchased a still MS 171 <coughs> I did want the MS 180 but for the price it was a lot more expensive for what I was going to be using it for and this one kind of just fit me uh, a little bit better. And since I already had this Husqvarna 235, I didn't really feel like I needed it. So I went ahead and just picked up this uh, 171. This thing's a beast. I uh, I love it. It handled great over some of my tree jobs over the summer. And uh, it'll definitely get its use next year too. As for the Husqvarna, um, it didn't really get any use this, this summer because I always just use this still. And it handled through everything. But both run good. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what I use for my, my chainsaws. Okay, coming over here to kind of my, my blowers. Um, so this guy is brand new uh, this season. I bought him kind of towards the middle, beginning of the season. Uh, it's my still BR600. I love this thing to death. Um, it has a lot of power. Um, there's really no bad things to say about it. It, it doesn't have the side start, which I kind of like. I don't know. I kind of had some problems with the side start, and I didn't really like that. So I went and, had and picked up that guy, and uh, it's a beast. I love it. Um, I know there's the, the 7 and the 800 above it, but for what I do, that's perfect. Um, I don't really need anything bigger. And so, yeah, that thing, it handled great all summer long. Blew off every driveway I needed it to. Uh, yeah, it worked great. I still do have my, uh, my little Craftsman handheld blower just in case as a backup i'll bring it sometimes uh, in case that guy didn't want to start or something happens with it i'll have this guy and uh he'll take care of the job a little bit slower but he'll still take care of it um another thing i got into over the summer was commercial spraying so this is my commercial sprayer i use um it's just a backpack sprayer and then it has a hand pump on the side that you use to pump it and get pressure and spray uh, i use that thing for a lot of jobs over the summer this year and uh it worked great I loved it. Um, it'd be nice to have one with the motor. It'd be a little bit less tedious than having to pump it. But for me, I found it at a garage sale and uh, it was brand new in the box. No one had ever used it. And so I put to good use this summer, uh, sprayed a lot of, uh, of weeds and other stuff like that. And it worked and handled great. Okay, coming in here into my garage a little bit further. This is something I've had for a while. Um, I did a lot of jobs with it. I do a lot of jobs with it, especially in the winter. And so you'll see a lot of these videos coming soon. But that would be my power washing setup. Um, so my main power washer here, it's a it's a rigid power washer. Uh, it's a, uh, I don't remember what the PSI exactly is on it. Oh, 3300 PSI uh, rigid power washer. <clears throat> this thing is an absolute beast. Uh, it's kind of folded up right now, so you can't really tell it's in the... Uh, side of my garage here kind of just been storing it but I use that thing and then I have this surface cleaner too and then my handle and then extension wand and so I'll clean surfaces houses driveways you know everything anything that people want done I will uh, help power wash and so you know anything that people want done I'll go ahead and, and power wash and clean up and it looks nice I I personally I love power washing I think it's really fun and satisfying so I love doing that kind of work so there's gonna be some videos on that coming scene from this winter because I mean obviously you can't mow in the winter I wish you could but you can't mow in the winter so got to find another source of income and I use power washing as mine but uh, yeah this thing's a beast I used a bunch this summer for a bunch of jobs. I picked up this 15 inch surface cleaner off of the Amazon. Uh, I was like 50 or 60 bucks or something. Uh, it was totally worth it. I love the thing. Uh, my wand is a Dewalt wand I picked up from Home Depot. And then this hose I picked up from uh, Amazon too. It's this braided hose, hydraulic hose stuff. This stuff is 
tough as nails. Uh, you can run over it, do whatever you want. It it won't puncture. That stuff is awesome. I absolutely love it. But yeah, that is uh, that's my power washing setup that I use. Okay, coming over here to this side of my garage. This is kind of my messy workbench that I use to make my soft plastics and build stuff and fix stuff and do everything on. I have this box right here. So this is kind of my uh, my box that I bring with me whenever I do any job. Um, it kind of handle. It carries all my extra stuff like my gloves. Uh, I have some extra trimmer line in here. Uh, an extra Lowe's bag with some uh, sprinkler parts. Um, I have an extra weed eater head, uh, some pruners, an extra chainsaw chain, uh, the trash to pruners, which can go in the trash. Um, I have some extra oil for my uh, mixed gas. Uh, another pair of these gloves, a uh, sprinkler head, some pliers, some more pruners, a uh, chainsaw or weed eater utility thing, kind of fix things, a knife, uh, some shovels, uh, some weed pullers, and an extra edger blade. So that's just kind of all the uh, all the stuff that I carry with me from every job. Um, when I do irrigation and sprinkler work. Uh, any extra sprinkler heads or any of that kind of stuff, I'll kind of uh, make room for and take some of the things I'm not using out for that job. And so I can fit all those sprinkler heads in here. But other than that, that's kind of some of the stuff. Oh, and then I also have this uh, this chainsaw sharpening kit. Sometimes I'll throw in there in case I have a big job and my chain needs sharpened or something like that, just in case. And then uh, another thing I also use, um, you can buy mower blade scrapers, but they're like really expensive. So instead, I went ahead and went to my local hardware store and I picked up this paint scraper. And so anytime I can kind of feel my mower deck, you know, starting to clog up or I see it clogging up, I'll just shut her off and then I'll use this thing, scrape all the stuff off the bottom. It works great. Um, and it was like uh, three or four dollars. I don't remember how much it was, but super cheap. Um, and it works amazing. It's just an uh, alternative instead of paying 20 to $40 for uh, a mower blade scraper. Okay, so the final thing I'm going to go ahead and add in this video, you could probably see here in the background. Um, I had recently acquired this mower, um, but I now have a, uh, a lawn tractor. But yeah, now I have a, uh, a lawn tractor. Um, so here I have a Husqvarna V-Twin. Right now it's kind of in a lot of pieces because I'm doing some maintenance and fixing stuff. It needs a new carburetor. Um, but yeah, I have this Husqvarna V-Twin uh, lawn tractor. So now I picked this thing up and I intend to take the mower deck off this winter. And so if we get any like big uh, snows or something, which you don't a lot here, but if you do, um, I can put a, uh, I can attach a snow plow to the front of this and I can uh, do some snow work over this winter instead of shoveling and stuff like we did last year. But yeah, this is a new addition to the, uh, the family of things is this, uh, this Husqvarna V-Twin lawn tractor. Pretty sweet. But yeah, other than that guys, um, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Um, not all too terribly much new stuff. I mean, you got the new combi system, the blower, the chainsaw, and all the uh, other miscellaneous things. So not a whole lot of new stuff, but I thought I'd just kind of do an end of the season uh, thing here for you guys. But that's going to wrap up this video. Um, if you guys did go ahead and enjoy, I will uh, make sure to catch you in the next one. Peace out.